Here we go with an update on our grain trade and buckle up, it's been a bumpy ride already today. So here we go, our quotes are provided by Bar Chart and looking at the corn today, we have double digit gains that we're looking at here. On the big board, we have the nearby December contract, 12 and a quarter higher at 583 and a quarter, only one lonely tick off of our high of the day. In our soybean trade, these are live quotes, by the way. January soybeans, 35 and a quarter higher at 1286 and a half, and even that, believe it or not, is about three cents off of its earlier high. It's backed up a little bit, and we're still up 35 cents. On the wheat market in Chicago today, we have December now 21 and three quarters higher at 832 as the bullishness is running rampant here. Kansas City wheat, December 16 and three quarters higher at 837 and a half. That's about three cents off of its earlier high this morning. And Minneapolis wheat, December 12 and three quarters higher at 1027 and three quarters. The cotton market today, cotton, December 116 points higher at 119.14 cents per pound. So big moves there. The canola trade, we have the January showing a price that's down 780, but the March is four and a half dollars higher in Canadian money at 990.90 per metric ton. All kinds of stuff going on today. In fact, even that oats market over there, we have the December contract higher, but it's only two and a quarter higher. It had a big run yesterday. 732 and three quarters right now. Let's bring in Todd Bubba Horowitz of BubbaTrading.com. And well, Todd, there they go. Boom. What's going on today? I'm not, I'm not surprised. I mean, I, you know, we've talked about uh, higher prices coming, and I think we're seeing them. Look, you know, these prices need to go up just to help the farmers and producers because of the, the input costs that they have. So we've got to see higher prices. You know, it can't be one-sided. And, you know, there is certainly demand. And, you know, we do have the best goods in the world. So you're getting demand. You're getting every, you're getting all the stars aligning. And, you know, I think we've got more room to go much higher from here. I think it would be no surprise to see a six handle on corn, a nine handle on wheat, and a 13, 14 handle on beans if by the time it's all said and done. I think we're going to continue this rally because you're going to start to see some money looking for homes, outside money, plus the fact of just, the fundamentals of markets, which, you know, again, these places better go up or these farmers aren't going to be able to produce. So you're thinking that uh, the harvest pressure, we're over 90% done on harvest in corn and soybeans. You're thinking harvest pressure is in the rear view window and, um, or the rear view mirror <laughs> rather, and now it's just up and out of here if you go from here on. I think so. I think, look, there's going to be sell-offs. Don't, don't ever remember, there's always going to be pullbacks. But I think the direction is up. I think the trend is higher. And I think we go higher, and, and, and that's, I think, going to last for an extended period of time um, and unless something major happens in the economy or around the globe. Look for higher prices to continue, but also remember that there will be pullbacks, and there'll be more. Those will be buying opportunities, not places to sell. The U.S. dollar index had been higher earlier, but now it is kind of flattening out here and uh, taking a little bit of the heat off of some of the ag complex. We have December U.S. dollar index futures now just 34 points higher at 95.945. Todd, thanks for joining us on a very volatile day here in the ag trade. We're talking with Todd Bubba Horvitz of BubbaTrading.com in Chicago. We'll be back. We'll take a look at livestock next. <laughs> 